Okay, so to measure current, the dial is set to DC for direct current like batteries and then A for amps measuring current. And then we have the dial in that section on the 200M, meaning that it'll measure up to 200 milliamps, black on ground, red on milliamp settings. Mm -hmm. And then it needs to replace a wire. All the current needs to go through the ammeter. So we unplug one part of the LED or any device. So for any device, it's usually easiest to take the part that goes to ground and unplug the ground part. And then we'll have one part of the ammeter connecting from ground and then the other part going from ground to the LED or the motor or whatever the device is and then squeeze those two wires together. This code has the LED flashing, so the LED is doing what it normally does. And then when this is on, we see the numbers dancing around. We can ignore the negative. And then we just keep the largest number that we see here since they're, we're trying to time the data collection with the device. Just take the largest number that you see, ignore the positives or negatives, and keep that as milliamps to convert whatever we get to amps, you have to divide that by a thousand. So I just saw 68.6. If that's the biggest number, we take 68.6 divided by a thousand, so it'd be 0 0.0686 amps.